Hey there, in today's video I'm going to be working on a 30 ounce tumbler, a freebie for a friend of mine, Juan at Liberty Graphics. This is going to be for tutorial purposes also. So if you're new at making decals, I know some of you just purchased uh, uh, the uh, Silhouette Cameo 3. This will be a good start for you if you want to learn how to do decals. This is from DeFont. Don't assume that all of DeFont fonts are free. Make sure you purchase a commercial license if you're going to be doing anything else with it. Pay the seller for, or their maker for their, their fonts. So this is a Coley Loki, Coley, Loki, Loki Cola. It's L-O-K-I is the font name for this one. Um, anyway, I got this from Google. It's a PNG file. And I'm going to show you how to set it up. The tumbler that I'm going to be working on is going to be blue and red. I'm going to keep this blue outline, which means I'm going to remove the inside from the tumbler. So I can click, keep my blue line, and then I'm going to keep this blue as well. The tumbler is going to be painted red, and I'm going to use uh, some uh, pantyhose just to try something new. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my file from my desktop. I'm going to go to File, Merge. I'm going to grab my file from my desktop. This is a PNG file. I'm going to come over to my right panel and click on that little icon that says open the trace panel. Click on select trace area and select the area you want to trace. And I usually like to put it in like 93, 94. See how it's already yellow? Well, that's going to make it brighter. What is highlighted is, is what's highlighted is exactly what the uh, cameo is going to cut. So click on trace. And it'll break it down into, into layers for you. You see all these red lines? So I'm going to click on that box and delete it. And now it's ready to be cut. And I'll show you. I'll put it over here. If you click on send, I'm going to skip all the little settings for now. But I just want to show you that once it's all red, that's, what, that's exactly what the cameo is going to cut out. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. I think I'm gonna go all out for one. Yeah, I'm still thinking of other things to add or to do to this. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. I always clean the inside once I'm done. I'm using some alcohol wipes. Okay, so now I'm gonna put something let it dry. I'm gonna use a Kleenex for now. Next I'm gonna apply the decal. And I think I think I'm going to put a, just to make, change things up a little. Remember, I'm going to put the whole Patriots logo on there and then remove the insides once I'm done. So for now, I'm going to line it up on my tumbler. What you can use... I guess I can use a shirt. Use a shirt just so to keep it from rolling on you. Gonna line it up really quick. I'm using the center of the logo. Another thing you can do is you put the lid back on and use the the uh, lip. And line it up with the logo, the Ozark logo, and that's another way of lining up your uh, decal. 
Try not to get too many fingerprints on here. Okay, so that should stay. You want to make sure you press it on really good so that uh, paint doesn't seep underneath. Where's my yeah. Just use your squeegee. Make sure it's on there really well, really good. Just apply pressure. I usually like to use the squeegee with the felt tip or the felt on the end only because vinyl does scratch so if you don't want your vinyl to be scratched not that it will on here but sometimes we tend to go over the vinyl itself and that's not a good idea so it's best to use a squeegee with the vinyl vinyl on the end I'm sorry felt felt okay this should be on there pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it at an angle just push it down or pull it at an angle. Okay, there's that. And then you can use the the hole where you drink from as your center mark. And I'm gonna put Juan's name on the other side. These are all going to come off after I've done. So that instead of the blue, it's going to actually be uh, stainless steel. Again, you want to make sure it's on there really good so that the paint doesn't see through it or go underneath. It should be good. Should be good to go. Even though it looks good like that, you can epoxy that. Of course, above the insides, that looks good either way like that. I'm gonna go ahead and get the paint process going. Be right back. I want to put my name at the bottom, my sticker. Okay, I'm gonna go all out for one. He'll, he'll know that uh, <laughs> when he watches this video what I what I used to get this effect. I've only tried the pantyhose once and it was a different one. I didn't really, I don't know what I did with it. I, I think I, I don't know what I did with it. But anyway, try something different. Some people use uh, hose, hoses, hose in videos. Let's see how far I want to take it. I don't want it to be, I don't know if I want too much silver or not. I don't know if I want too much silver where the dark, the, where the top triangles are, or the diamonds. That's what's going to stay silver, and I don't know, I'm trying to envision what it's going to look like, especially on the decal, it's already going to be silver. So maybe, no, 
less would be better, I guess. I don't know. It's going to be red anyway. I don't know. Hopefully it turns out okay. I have no idea what it's going to look like. It looks like it might be cool. I don't know. Let's give this a shot. I'm going to stick the hose in there and then get a... I'm going to have to get a... Cover my lid up with some plastic. One sec. And I'm just going to grab a lid and some plastic. Plastic grocery bag. At the bottom, I'm going to stick this inside there. So let me get the paint ready. Try not to let it run. Or slide. in this color glossy banner red okay it's been about 10 minutes I guess has it been that long see <laughs> don't know how I'm gonna remove this guess I'll stick my hand down the leg that's always fun <laughs> see what happens it could be a fail I don't know find out nice okay I didn't hydro dip like I planned which is fine I'm always experimenting so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this not too shabby. Hope you can see it. Now I'm going to remove Patriots and the, the insides of the... Might have to remove the whole thing. I'm not sure. I think I'll leave it. If anything, I can use uh, alcohol wipes or... Uh, uh, I guess nail polish remover to remove the red from the blue. We'll see. Now I'm going to remove... Uh, my decal patriots. I don't know how it's gonna come out, but we'll see. If I don't like it, I have to. I'm gonna put a another decal on top of it. So far, I don't like it. Okay, I cleaned up the red that was in the blue so I can leave it. I didn't like how this Patriots turned out, so I'm just going to print the blue Patriots and just put it on there, but I'm going to leave the the uh, logo part alone. I'm not going to remove that blue that's got red paint on it because I like that look. 
And then after this, I'm just going to put my sticker on there and then I'm going to epoxy it. I'm not going to show you that process since I have a couple videos already on that. So this is going to be the final product once I put Patriots back on here in blue. I decided to reprint the, um, or recut the Patriots and I decided to move it off to the side to give it a 3D effect off of the stainless steel lettering that I removed and didn't like earlier so I moved it to the side and it came out pretty cool so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the epoxy process and then we'll be done with it thanks for watching until next time